What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Sad Lad, coming through with another quick Nike SB video for today. So make sure you leave a comment if you're new. Hit that subscribe button for your boy and make sure you dab on him. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, that is a very high quality shoe that Nike has be dunk high strawberry cough. Sheesh, and I'm over here coughing as I hold it. This thing is just ridiculous. I'm loving it. Crazy part is I still got my receipt too, you feel me? I got like probably all of my receipts, almost all of my receipts for my Nike SBs. So that's pretty fire. The Nike SB Dunk High Strawberry Cough was set to release on October 22nd of the year 2021. And that's funny because this shoe was delayed about once or twice. It was supposed to release back in 2020 and then it got delayed. So the retail price was $110, which is pretty fascinating because these materials are pretty damn nice. I'm loving the quality on them. Strawberry Cough is a fire combination between two strains, one by the name of Haze and the other by the name of Strawberry Fields. So this is just like a crazy combination. The designer Todd Bertrude, who is well known around the Nike SB, Nike skate community. This guy has designed so many other shoes for us, man. The loons, the brain wrecks, the white widows, the skunks, just to say the least. Like, yo, this guy is really a legend out here. He's a very cool guy. You can hit him up on Instagram and he'll tap back in with you. Very awesome individual. He's also designed the strawberry cuffs that's gonna have that 420 theme on it. And it's just gonna, you know, pay a lot of homage to that West Coast culture. You know, he down with the culture. That's my guy, Todd, let's go. If you look at the shoe, you got this university red, and I love that colorway. That university red colorway, we love that color. It's like that dark, beautiful, bold red color that we just can taste when we look at it. And it also has that spinach green color that's looking pretty awesome. I think they made that up just for this shoe because, you know, like spinach and then green. Like, obviously, spinach is green, but it just fit very perfect for this shoe. I'm so excited to have this shoe. I've had it for a very long time in my collection now, and uh, I'm just now getting to it. If you look at that swish, it's got that very nice carpet-like suede material, very thick, durable, nice feeling to it. I want to say this is a three-piece combo with three different materials. You got the leather, you got that beautiful tumbled leather as well on the side panels, and then you got like this carpet suede and you got that soft suede. Oh, this is actually going to be, uh, they call this velour. So yeah, this is like a three-piece. You got the velour up here on the back. You got the suede, very thick carpet. You got that tumbled leather. You got the regular leather on the front toe box. Bro, this shoe is hitting, and this is actually gonna be Ember Valley colorway on the toe box as well. Translucent bottom with the spinach green, the red, it's just like hitting, yo. This shoe is so fire. We didn't even get to the small details on it, like the strawberry cough guy, the insoles, the super bold red laces that we love, that mesh tongue, all white mesh tongue with Nike SB stitching that red colorway with the white outlay. This shoe is hitting very hard. Look at that fat pull tab. It's just like, oh, it reminds you of the top of the strawberry, like that one piece that's just like super fat. Yo, this shoe is crazy. The specs, we love the specs right from the strawberry. Very detailed, the midsole translucent all the way. Wow, this is just like a hitter, yo. Like they really fucked this shoe up. I don't know what the fuck else to say. But this is so sick. The inner lining as well is gonna be velour in white. The white velour inner lining, shit, is fucking hidden. You already know this shoe's gonna come with some extra laces. We got those green looking laces, very nice. And we got those uh, magic ember laces. I called them ember valley or some shit earlier. These are magic ember color, I'm guessing. That's pretty sick too. Uh, it's looking like a mix between orange and reddish a little bit, but a little bit pinkish, a little bit lighter, but I like it a lot. Once we pull those insoles out, oh, snaps. We got that strawberry cough dude on both of them, looking very sick, paying a whole lot of homage to the strawberry cough strain. Yeah, it's gonna be a very potent sativa strain as well, so it's gonna help you get real creative, you know, it's a real cerebral, all up in the brain type strain. And uh, yeah, it's paying a lot of homage. This shoe's paying a whole lot of homage. We deserve this shoe, because it's been so long since we had a real 420 shoe, and this shoe right here was well-deserving. I'm so glad that we got it, and it came through like it's a banger. I'm guessing they had a little bit more time to take on it, whatever, but when we did see like some previews of the shoe, it was looking nice. When a lot of people had those early, those early pairs and stuff, it was looking really nice, but uh, to finally have it, and for everyone to have their pairs finally and the shoe to be completely released successfully, 
um, the materials are so fire. You can just see on the tongue, it just goes from like that red uh, magic ember color to the whitish, like it's just looking so fucking fire. I love it a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm glad, I'm so glad we got the strawberry dude on the end. I didn't talk about him enough, but that is just super detailed embroidery with the strawberry guy to have him uh, over here talking about cough, cough and shit. Like, that is just a real fucking deal, as deep as it gets. If you don't understand the shoe by just looking at it and think like, oh shit, strawberry cough, what the fuck, then you're fucking crazy. Like, they killed this shit, so. I'm just so glad to have a pair, honestly. Like, thank you so much to Pharmacy Board Shop, my local skate shop, because man, support your local skate shops, ladies and gentlemen. You already know they're gonna come through for you like you come through for them. The resale value on these aren't too crazy. Um, I probably wouldn't cop them from, you know, a lot of other places, cause you might get a fake pair or something, but, yeah, you can go check them out on Go App and probably maybe your local sneaker store or something like, you know, man, go over there and support your local sneaker stores. If they got the real deal, check them out as well. They shouldn't go for too much. Some people might try to tax you, but you know, I personally think that it's a very nice shoe and it should be up there in like the $500 range if you want. If you want a pair, you feel me? It's like buying one of them OZs back in 05. Like, you know, I should gonna run you about 500 to 1,000 for an OZ, that killer strawberry cough real deal. So yeah, this shoe should be up there in price, but it's just not, so it is what it is. I'm so glad I would love to cop another pair. The quality is really premium to me, and that's what it's gonna be. If y'all made it to the end of it, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you comment if you're new. Hit that subscribe button for your boy, and I'll see you in the next one. Sheesh.